think too much and smoke our acres. Hello, hello, what is up everybody? It is Yo Aspire here and I'm back with a new tutorial. And I know I haven't done a tutorial in a long time, but um, I've just been working on videos and stuff, you know, just, you know, been working and editing. Don't really have a lot of time, but today is Christmas Day, um, so Merry Christmas. And I'm back with another tutorial, so let's get into it. Also, I apologize for my voice. I'm kind of sick right now, but um, we're, gonna, we're just going to push through that. And uh, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do 3D motion tracking in Vegas Pro. So this isn't your traditional 3D motion tracking. It's not even motion tracking actually, but it still looks pretty cool. And in my opinion, it actually looks cooler than traditional motion tracking. And it's a lot easier to do. And you can add it to like, a, it's like really quick to add for like quick little videos you're doing. So you can add it really quickly and it just makes your video look a little cooler. So, um, but yeah, and also I'm gonna show you two ways how to do it. So the first way is with 3D text and that's just in Vegas Pro. We're gonna stay in Vegas Pro the whole time. And another way is with a 3D object and we're gonna go into Element 3D, which is in After Effects for that. And um, that's like an extra thing you want to do. But um, if you want to just do 3D text, we're going to be in Vegas Pro the whole time. And it's really easy to do because all you really need to do this is a tripod and a camera and Vegas Pro. And that's really it. It's kind of cool what you can do with just a tripod and a camera if you know what you're doing. So I'm going to show you an example of something you can do. And today we're going to be working in Vegas Pro 21. Um, so I don't really have anything else to say. So um, without further ado, let's just get into the tutorial. <coughs> Okay, so the first thing you want to do when you open Vegas Pro is to just obviously have your clip on the timeline here, your tripod clip. And I already put a little, you know, funky color grade on it just, you know, make it look a little more cooler for the tutorial. But, um, oh yeah, so that's step number one. And so after that, you just want to open the pan crop settings here. And depending on how you filmed your clip, mine is pretty wide. You see, we still got the, the guy in the video here. So I'm just going to zoom in, like, a lot on OD. I'm going to go to this little corner over here just to cut him out of there. And just to make it look a little more zoomed in and like a really, you know, close up or just, you know, really zoomed in, like, you know, zoom angle, zoom lens shot right quick. So, so we have like this, this is good enough for me. I'm just going to move over a little bit. I'm going to zoom out kind of, kind of like this. All right. That's cool. That's cool. I'm, I'm, I'm with that. I'm with that. All right. So, um, yeah, so we got that. Next thing you're going to want to do is you just want to go to your video effects here and I already have it in my favorites, but um, you just want to go to, um, BCC lens blur. You're going to drag on the default one right here. And this also depends on your clip, but the default is usually pretty strong and we don't need that strong. So I'm going to put on like six, uh, not even six. Let's go like four for now. And we may change this later, but we're going to keep it on four for now. All right. So once we're done with that, boom. All right. So we're just going to leave that like that. Okay, so after you do that, you just want to go to Media Generators here. You go to uh, Titles and Text. You just drag on the Sample Text and put it over your clip like that. Okay, boom. All right, next you want to go to the BCC plugin Extruded Text. Okay, so you have a lot of options here, but I'm going to show you guys how to make a basic, like, reflective looking text. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to change the words here. I'm going to launch the UI, this button right there. And I'm just going to type in three text oh I can't type 3 text all right so I'm gonna pick a cool little font here a little edgy font you know cool guy director font uh, all right don't be too picky Josh uh, okay good lord all these fonts suck uh, all right why not this one okay here we go apply all right bam all right so the first thing we're gonna mess with here is the extrusion um, I usually keep it between like 10 and 15 I'll set it to something, you know, I don't know, 10, I'll put that 10 for now, why not, then we have the bevel style, I'm going to change that to concave, because I think that's the coolest, I think the default is like old school, early 2000s level bevel, that doesn't look very cool, so we're going to change to concave, it's cool, it's hip, there we go, alright, so material count, we're going to go to front, back, bevel, side, right here, so we have more reflections and materials to work with, we're going to the front material first, material preset we're going to set that to chrome if i can find it metal chrome like that cool and then we're going to go to the texture thing we're going to set it to chrome as well i'm just going to lower the texture strength here because it's not very really cool if you ask me it's kind of whack i should probably get some more textures but we're going to rock what we got right now you can make a quick little simple one with the defaults here so we're going to lower the, the, um, the texture strength keep that super low we're going to go to the bottom here where it says reflection we're going to change that to chrome as well and then we're going to up the reflectivity like this right here also you can actually change it to some you can kind of pick what you want here a color too that's not bad uh 
Yeah, you can you can get a rock with it. But I'm gonna set it to chrome for me. Also, is it blurred? Does blurred look good? Blurred is not bad. We're gonna keep. Okay, I'll keep it. We'll keep it chrome for now. We'll do that to the other ones. Okay, so we got a little thing here. All right. Also, I'm gonna rotate the text real quick. Quick little detour. Go to transformations here. Just gonna rotate the text so I can actually you know see what we're working with material wise. All right, cool, cool. All right, so back to the side material now. Now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna set this to um, Chrome like this. We have the thing now, texture strength, like before we're gonna drop that. And then we're gonna go down to the reflections once again. I'm gonna set it to color this time. And that look a little cooler. Then I'm gonna up the reflectivity like this. I'm also going to up the scale. And okay, yeah, I think that's not bad. I'm gonna up the reflection on the front texture as well. Okay, cool. I'm gonna, I don't like how it's gray though. Let's see if we can change something a little cooler. Horizon blue, what do we get? That's not amazing. Sunset. Uh, sunset. Okay, I like, I like sunset. That's, that's not bad actually. Let's keep sunset. I'm gonna up the reflection scale as well. This so it doesn't look so detailed. I'm gonna move it back like this. Okay, cool. Let me just try blurred one more time. Blurred. If I move it up like this, I'm kind of just trying to you know mess it around with it. You know, you can pick it to your liking. I'm gonna set it back to sunset. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad at all. All right. So now that we have that, I'm gonna add a little color to the text just to make it stand out a little more. And the reflection's up. Reflection is up. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna add a little color to the text now. I'm gonna go back to my video effects, and I have a, you can add what kind of color grading you ever want to do that you you normally use. But I have a plugin called Film. I forgot what that is. I think that's a new blue plugin. I forgot what that is. I'm gonna add that to the text just to you know give it a little more life. Let's set this to flat. It is a little flat now, so I'm gonna up the contrast. If it let me up the contrast like this. I'm going to lower the color temperature because it's a little too red for my liking. Um, okay, cool. And I'm just going to pick a cool preset here that I think fits what we got going on. Uh, that This one was pretty good, but I'm going to come back to that one just in case. This is too bright. Um, so I'll go back to the one I liked, which was this one right here. All right, bet, bet, bet. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to the extruded text here. And so now we're gonna animate it. We're gonna animate the rotation. So we're going to go to the transformations once again, which is at the bottom. I have all the things over. Okay, yeah. So I'm just gonna move it, make it rotate like this. It's like forward and backwards kind of thing. Like this, the stopwatch right here. I'm just gonna rotate you back. There we go. And then go to the end, like I just did. And we're gonna rotate you down like that. Okay, already, already in place. And now the text moves like this, but I'm not loving that reflection anymore. So I'm just gonna change the front reflection to something else. Okay, so I made a quick detour and I changed the coloring and um, font of my text because I wasn't really feeling it before. So we're looking a little better now. But okay, so this is the text we're working with here. We've got the rotation like that, and it looks pretty cool. So I'm just gonna drop this to end of the clip okay once you have the text to your liking now we're going to animate it the, the movement forward and backwards of the text so now we're going to go do is go back to the transformation here and we have position D that's what we need to mess so we have moving forwards and backwards like this for some reason negative is forward and positive is backwards I don't know why but that's just how it is um, five is like the set max but it can go higher than that if you just put another number in so I can put six in and now it goes back further I'm gonna put it at like I don't know uh, eight for now we're gonna start it at 8 here so we're gonna hit the animation button here go to the end and I'm gonna set it to like uh, what's a good one uh, that's three see that's too much uh, not bad not bad not bad at all so we're gonna go like this for the text okay cool cool, cool. Okay, so now once you do that and you have the text to your liking, the animation to your liking, you got it all worked out. Now you want to insert a new thing in Vegas Pro 21 that I really love. It makes editing a lot better. And that's called an adjustment event. 
So we're going to add that over everything like this. And um, so now what we're going to do is, so what you can do with an adjustment event is it's like a thing you can add and whatever's under it. And you, if you add effect to the adjustment event, whatever's under it will be like affected by that effect. So it's just really, really convenient. So we're going to go to favorites because that's where I keep this. But we're going to go to something called S shake. And I'm, I have a preset called subtle because the default is pretty strong. So um, I'm going to drag that on. And if you also have S shake, um, that's a Sapphire plugin. You can also just, I think that's a Red Giant plugin. That's a really good plugin to have if you use Vegas Pro. And um, so you can copy my settings here if you have S Shake. Um, it's just, you know, just copy what I got going on here. But what I'm going to do real quick, I'm just going to up the amplitude because I want it to be a little stronger. I'm thinking, but yeah, 0 0.201 should be cool. Let me just test it out real quick, see how it's shaking. All right, looks looks not bad, looks not bad. Okay, so also what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna move the pan crop after you add the S shake to your adjustment event. Just move that over it so um, now when you zoom in, it won't like show the reflection and stuff, which kind of happens when you have S shake on like, you know, the, the side of the, the screen and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so you're just gonna move that over and then you're just gonna go to the end of the clip here and you're just gonna zoom in as far as you want. I'm gonna zoom in like that. I want it to be pretty subtle. I might have went too much actually, but let's see. Well, it's not bad, it's not bad. So I'm just gonna pre-render this real quick. Okay, so this looks pretty clean. As you can see, you know, you got some 3D text going on here. You could also add a little more things to it. You know, it's kind of simple. Simple little setup here. You can add some more things to it if you wanna spice it up even more. You can add like some glow to the text, which I'll do that right now. I use S Glow for my glow effects because I just think that looks the cleanest, but there's a whole bunch of other glow effects. And in Vegas Pro, I the glow effect. I'll add that on real quick. That might not look the best, but we'll see how that looks. Add that onto the text. Um, let me lower the suppression. And um, so you get some glowing on the text like this, you see? That looks kind of cool. I like that. You can change the color. Uh, let me go, like, I kind of want like a golden haze. I don't know why I went so high. Just like this. That's way too, way too strong. Kind of like a little golden haze like that if you want to. Oh yeah, let me add sapphire glow. Cause I like that glow a little better. Uh, S glow right here. Add that on. Um, and yeah, you kind of change the color a little bit. Do your thing. That's a little golden haze like that. And that looks, that looks pretty cool. But yeah, so you got something cool here. It's just, you know, like I say, all you need is a tripod and Vegas Pro to do it. And um, yeah, it's a really cool and simple thing to add to your videos if you want to add a quick little thing, yeah. So um, let's go on to part two of the tutorial. Um, all right, everybody, welcome to part two of the tutorial. We are now in After Effects, and we're going to be using Element 3D. Um, that's a really good plugin if you want to do 3D stuff, 3D motion tracking, if you want to add 3D objects to your uh, film or music video or just whatever video you're doing in general, this is a really good way to do it. So um, yeah, let's just jump right into it. Um, I'm on my laptop right now because I don't have After Effects on my PC, but uh, that's okay. That's fine. All right, so we're just going to right click here, go to new. You want to open a new composition first. I don't know if I said that, but you want to open a new composition first. Um, so you just have a blank composition here. Right, yeah. So after you do that, you just want to go to right click, go to new solid layer right here. The color does not matter, so pick whatever floats your boat. And then we're going to go to the effects here, if I can find it on this very small screen. Oh, there we go. Okay, effects right here. All right, all right. Already crashed. That's fantastic. Okay, we just want to go to the effects here. You want to type in element. And here we go. Video copilot. We're just going to drag that on. And then it should go black. Yes, it did. Okay, cool. Now I just want to hit scene setup right here. And it will take us to element 3D. Okay, so now we're in element 3D here. We got our settings here. And I'm going to be get using an OBJ file in this. The OBJ file I will be using is my company logo. But you can use whatever you want to use if you have an OBJ file already. If you don't have OBJ files or you just want to test one out, you can go to this website called free3d.com. They have a whole bunch of 3D, um, a free OBJ files of whatever you can possibly imagine. They're all on there and it's a really good site. But like I said, I'm going to be using my company logo and I already have that OBJ. So I'm just going to import that really quick. And um, once you've imported it, you just want to, you're going to get this. I never really touch any of this. So I'm just going to hit OK. And um, now it's really small. That usually happens. So that's no worry. You just want to go to um, the transform over here. 
hit normalize size and now you have a normal size logo all right some people also they turn off the grid here i don't normally do that but um that's up to you i'm gonna keep the grid on for now and um, i don't know if every element 3d does this but my text is usually black like this unless i put an environment on the texture so i'm just gonna put a random environment on it now because um, for the sake of tutorial, I'm going to put a different environment on it later. But for now, I'm just going to pick a random one. Okay, cool. So now we can start texturing the, um, the logo here. Okay, so I'm going to go to presets. And I also recommend getting Pro Shaders 1 or 2. It's a plugin for Element 3D that has a bunch of materials. And I only use 3D motion tracking kind of rarely. I don't do it too often. And they have a lot of like met metallic and like marble textures, which is all I really need. So um, I'm going to be using those. And I think I use Pro Shaders 2 for the one I use. Let me just see. They have metal. Oh uh, yes, yeah, let's see. So they have a lot of clean metal textures here. I'm just gonna go with this one here. Clean metal foil should be cool for what I got going on. And um, once again, I have to just turn on the, the environment. So I'm just gonna do that one more time. And I just want to pick one that kind of matches the scene. And I think I use this one, Studio, in my um in my final product here. So we have so we have the material on. It's kind of pretty simple. Got everything going on here. So um, once you add it on, it usually has its own kind of bump map already on there. And this is pretty strong right now. I think it's on negative 10, negative 12. So I'm just going to turn that really low. Well, I guess higher since it's on negative. And I'll put it like close to zero. I don't want to do that. But maybe like if I can do point, I'll do like point two. Yeah, something really small like this. So we just get a nice clean reflection. And um, so I'm, that's pretty much it once you add your OBJ. I added a nice little clean, uh, simple texture here. And um, so yeah, now you just want to hit OK. And so now you can see your texture in After Effects. So um, now what we're going to do is I'm just going to, it's pretty far away, so I'm just going to move the, um, the, the material up, the, the logo up here. So I'm going to group one, particle replicator, okay, position Z. So I'm just going to move that up this way. Like I said, negative is forward for some reason when we do this. Not sure why, but it just is. Okay, so there we go. It's a little closer now. Now I'm going to do the same kind of rotation I did for the 3D text. So I'm just going to rotate it on the X scale backwards and have it come forward. So we have the rotation right here. Rotation X. So I'm going to lean like this. Start off like this. And then I'm going to move over a couple keyframes. It's the same thing like in Vegas Pro. They just have a stopwatch right next to the, um, right next to the text. I'm going to hit stopwatch. I'm gonna move over about a couple like a couple seconds. It doesn't really matter if you can change the speed in uh, the next software when you're when you export it. I'm just gonna move it over like this, and then I'll just keep it same kind of thing. Move it, have it lean like this. So now when you go through it, you can see it slowly leans forward. And that's cool. So now after you do that, the rest is pretty simple. You can go down to the render settings here it's under ambient occlusion. You just want to turn. Enable AO, ambient occlusion, just gives you a little more realistic lighting. And then now what I'm going to do is go to change the SMB actual lighting. So once again, this is more up to personal preference. You can keep it to none if that's what you want to do. You can change it to single light. You can change it to cinema. When it's kind of a black background like this, it doesn't always show the effect. But uh, you can kind of see it more if you had like an actual environment behind you. But um, so you can change it. Like I said, you can change it whatever you want. 360. But I'll keep it to what I had. Oh, this is pretty cool right here. 360 is not bad. Um, so as stated, there's lots of options here. You can just, like I said, pick whichever one you want. But I use cinema in the actual music video, so I'm going to keep it at that for mine. And then once you're done, you just want to export it. So I'm just going to go. I think I ended the keyframing. I like around here. doesn't have to be perfect as long as it's the whole time. Okay, cool. Okay, so now the last step of this is just to right-click and insert a new um, solid. We're going to insert a new solid layer. Uh, once again, it does not matter the color. We're going to uh, switch it so the text is over the solid layer. And the only reason you're doing this is because I'm going to do the next step in Vegas Pro. And we're going to have to key out the background. So, um, like I said, the color doesn't really matter. It just has to be a different color than, like, it has to be a color that's not shown in any of the reflections. So, if you have a reflection with a lot of green, I recommend not using a green background. If you have a ref reflection with a lot of blue, don't use a blue background. Like, I couldn't use black. Like, it would just work with a lot of dark reflections. So, that would kind of mess up when keying out. So like I said, it just doesn't really matter. Just make sure you pick a color that's not prevalent in any of your reflections on, on your text. And once you do that, you just want to export it, file, export, and um, I'm just going to do it in uh, After Effects. 
um, then you just want to pick a spot for it I'll put it in this random folder here uh, and then you just want to begin your export all right so once you've exported your clip you just want to add it to Vegas Pro here I'm just gonna swap it in where we had the original text and um, I feel like this is going pretty slow so I'm just gonna wait till we got to the bottom here and just speed it up a little bit like this all right cool 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 so now we're just gonna go to the chroma key which already comes with Vegas Pro so I'm um, no plugins needed there and I'm gonna drag on the default here and I'm just going to open up the color here well hold on I'm gonna turn it off open up the color here go to this uh, ink pen tool select the red that we have on the background turn it back on and voila it is all gone uh, yeah it's pretty I don't think I really need to do any adjustment there might be some red on the outside which isn't too noticeable I'll just up the low threshold to get rid of some of that but um yeah so this looks pretty clean already and I'm just going to add one last step which is to just edit the pan crop a little bit so I'm gonna move this keyframe here to the end and I'm just going to let me give him a little more space here I'm just gonna zoom this out like this a little bit so it starts a little further back and um, that's basically it once you add your text in you should be fine I'm gonna just pre-render this all right so there you have it um, cool little motion tracking kinda thing in Vegas Pro with a little bit of element 3d and after effects but yeah, so that's basically it for this tutorial. So I um, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys are able to follow along with the video. Um, if you have any questions, please just let me know. Um, I want to make some more tutorials. If I have some time, I'll make some. I plan on making a tutorial on how to do this like perpetual slide thing that I did in one of these one of my last music videos. I have an example on the screen. But I'm also, if you want to check out some of my work and check out my production company, The Local Losers. We do music videos and short films and things like that. If you want to see some of my work. And, um, but yeah, I'll, you know, I'll keep making videos, keep making tutorials. Um, if you guys have any questions, please just let me know. And, um, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.